Welcome to this demo of FX Loader that integrates with Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. FX Loader partners with the best currency exchange rate providers to load rates into ERP applications. Our eBusiness Suite integration is trusted by many international organizations. Here we will show you our integration with Oracle Cloud Apps, which is the first to be listed under financials on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace. Integrating with cloud apps such as ERP Cloud and Sales Cloud requires a very different architecture to traditional on-premise interfaces. No extensions can be done within the Oracle Cloud Apps environment, so all functionality sits outside in a separate mini cloud application hosted on Oracle PaaS. This is a back-end multi-tenant application with a scheduler to get, process and load the rates. REST web service calls are made to any of our rates providers. Rates are then processed according to clients' preferences and loaded into their applications using a web service provided by Oracle. So let's look at FX Loader to see the configuration options available. Access the application via a browser and log in using the credentials supplied for your company. The home page shows metrics for your company and the five latest jobs, with links to see the details for each job. The configuration is centred around one or more runs, supported by currency sets and ERP instances to load rates into. Let's look at the options available when setting up a run. We set a frequency of the run, most often daily, but you can select these other options, including set setting specific dates. Set a time the scheduler should submit the jobs, and the next start date is set when the job completes. Automatic retry options control the interval and number of times to retry in the event of network problems. Choose notification options by entering up to five email addresses to receive the log messages for every run or only on error or warning. You can submit a job immediately for any as of date you choose. Next we define the stages of a run. Vet stages will get rates from one of the rate providers. Triangulate will calculate cross rates and Load will send the rates to the chosen ERP instance. When defining a fetch stage, we first pick a source of rates according to which provider you have subscribed to. The European Central Bank is free, but Oanda and Exegnite are pay services, the cost of which is included in your FX Loader subscription. Exignite offers a number of official central bank sources in addition to market rates, so you could set up two fetch stages one for market rates, and one for official Mexican rates, for example. The currency set defines which currencies you need rates for. You can define multiple sets for different fetch stages from different sources. Currency codes are added manually or by picking from a master list. If you're using an old currency code, enter the new code to fetch the rates from the provider. For example, for Mexico you can get MXN rates and load them against the old code MXP. Flag a currency as base to use as a selection criteria for fetch and triangulate stages. You can also set rounding overrides for individual currencies when used as a from or to currency or even for a specific currency pair. Rounding is available by significant figures or by decimal places. Select bid, ask or midpoint to override the market rate used for individual currencies. Returning to our fetch stage. Once we have selected our currency set, specify which combination of those currencies you want to get rates for. For example, here we'll get rates for the US dollar to all currencies enabled within our set. The date offset allows you to fetch rates for a different date to the date of the run. For example, use minus one to get rates for the previous day. Finally, there are parameters specific to certain providers. Fixed time for Exignite and source decimal places for OANDA. 
After our fetch stages, we have the option to create triangulate stages. Triangulate stages can be used to calculate cross rates from rates already retrieved from the provider. For example, you can calculate the pound to euro rate from the US dollar rates against pounds and euros. Triangulate stages are not always needed. You can choose instead to get all combinations of rates directly from the provider, or you may not need cross rates at all. If you do want to use them, select a currency set, often the same as used in the fetch stage, and specify which currencies you want to calculate rates for from a chosen pivot currency. You can set up multiple triangulate stages if you need to, for example, if you have multiple pivot currencies you want to use. Finally, create load stages, which send rates to one of the Oracle Cloud App instances you define. For each instance, enter the URL and the web service location is tagged on to the end. Click the Check WSDL button to ensure you can access the web service. Enter a username and password for a user that has access to the instance typically a restricted access account. The send test button will check access by creating a small file in the UCM using the web service. Date offset allows you to load rates into a date other than your run date. For example, enter one to load rates into the next day. Extra days allows you to enter the rates into a range of dates in Oracle. So enter 2 to load the next two days with the same rates. Specify the rate type of the rates you are loading. Then pick bid, ask or midpoint for market rates and finally set up optional rounding. You can set up multiple load stages to load different instances. So let's jump into our Oracle ERP Cloud application to see how FX Loader sends the rates. The FX Loader load stage has sent the rates to the UCM in the ERP instance and submitted the enterprise scheduler job called Load Interface File for Import. This is paused as it submits the child jobs transfer file, load file to interface and finally import and calculate daily rates, which validates and uploads the rates to the core tables in the application. If we look at this final job, we see it is completed successfully. We can open the log file to see the steps taken. This shows we loaded 46 rates, which became 92 rates records, including inverses. The daily rates are now available for use within the application. These are the final rates sent by the load stage, including those fetched from the provider, calculated by triangulation and rounded by the final stage. So let's have a look at the rates that have been loaded. Navigate to the Manage Currency Rates screen and select Daily Rates. Firstly, we'll look at the US dollar rates for the date we loaded and the rate type we chose, which was Spot. and we see rates from US dollars to all the currencies we defined in our currency set. If we look at Euro rates, we see the rates created by the triangulation stage. And finally, the Canadian dollar rates show only rates with our base currencies, as CAD was not defined as a base currency. Of course, you can also see all actions taken and the rates from the jobs page in the FX Loader application. 
The log file details all the steps taken. This is the information set to the notification email addresses you've set up. We can also see the stages of the job, the rates fetched and the rates finally loaded. To find out more, please visit our website at fxloader.com where you can contact us and request a free 30-day trial. Or you can get in touch via the Oracle Cloud Marketplace listing. Just search the marketplace and scroll down to the Financials Cloud section.